first time I ever laid eyes on, on, on that pretty red-headed wife of mine was September 15th, 1944, 9.08 p.m., YWCA, Jackson, Mississippi. And I'm not gonna be silly enough to tell you that I was in love with her, but I am gonna tell you I knew instantly I was going to get better acquainted with her real fast. And so when the meeting was over, I rushed to get her. And uh, it was, I, we were, I was in the Naval V-5 program in World War II, and uh, they were holding a little party that night and uh, when the dance was over, I uh, had seen her, and so I approached her and uh, said, uh, you know, uh, I'd like to help you get home. Well, it was just across the street, so that was pretty easy to do. And uh, when we got there, though, the doors were locked. And so uh, what we had to do, what I did was I climbed up on side, outside of the house and came down and opened the door. And uh, we talked and then I said, well, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And so I called and the relationship just uh, really blossomed in a very big hurry. I was 17 and uh, she was 16. Well, first of all, she had a huge sense of humor. Uh, second, I thought she was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen. And third, uh, she came from a good family. She's the only girl I've ever courted. And uh, I laughingly tell people we we're perfectly balanced. Uh, you know, she was the field smartest in a class of 400, and I was in the part of the class that made the top half possible. So on balance, uh, you know, it's worked out real good. We were married November the 26th, 1946. We dated two years, two months, and 11 days before she finally said, okay, I do. That was all those years ago, and I gotta tell you, she's still the only girl I've ever loved, or ever will love. We get along well, except I've never thought of her as a friend. <laughs> I've always called her sugar baby, and uh, she's a sugar baby if I've ever seen one. Married life for me was just a dream come true. Uh, I still think she's the prettiest girl I've ever seen. I still court her every day. I mean, when I wake up, I always say, I sure do love you.